Hello everybody. Um, we're going to do another simple pinstriping design. Uh, it's going to be asymmetrical, um, kind of an old school design or traditional. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. It helps me out a lot uh, to get some new uh, viewers. So uh, today we're going to be using the MAC Triple Zero Sword Brush. Uh, i got a little paint on the ferrule there. I'm going to try to wipe that off. <clears throat> and we're using one shot uh, chrome yellow and orange mixed. So I just, I'm running low on paint, so I just kind of mixed a little bit to not use up too much of either one. <clears throat> so I'm going to palette the brush right now. Um... Now asymmetrical is a kind of a free free form kind of deal uh, where neither side is is the same, so it kind of just goes on its own. Um, I like to do these as kind of a practice <clears throat> uh, without having to worry about uh, whether or not it's even and such. Uh, you could pull some lines and just sort of have some fun. So. Uh, I hope my head doesn't get in the way. I'm trying a, a new camera stand. So we're going to start off, actually we're going to go, we're going to make a kind of a slight C curve. <clears throat> now we're going to pull downward a little. And then slightly start to curve back in and follow that line until it meets back in the middle. All right. Now uh, we're going to do another one on the inside here. This is just going to be shorter. So try to follow that line the best you can and start to lift up to give it a point. <clears throat> and we're going to do something kind of the same. So we're going to pull it out and then follow that line until it meets back up in the middle or back uh, on the original line. All right. Fix that little bit there to make it consistent <clears throat> now uh, what we're gonna do is kind of a teardrop shape but a real hard turn so we're gonna start way out here push down hard and rotate kind of the brush in your fingers to be able to make that turn And that's what's hard about these with me is you have to rotate them in your fingers or rotate your your wrist to make the turns, which is kind of why I got stuck on using the scroll brushes a lot. <clears throat> but I'm trying to challenge myself and uh, you know learn learn with uh, new tools because this is a tool no matter what. This can do things that a scroll brush can't do, and vice versa. I mean, you can make them do anything, but. You know, they kind of have their place, <clears throat> in my humble opinion. Everybody's going to have many opinions that you'll come across, and I'm sure there are many on me. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to go downward and just cut across, but we're going to stop right here, and we're going to pick it back up on the other side. So I'll just try to see where it would come out, maybe like right there. And we're going to come out here and try to do something similar and have it meet up. So I'll lift up. And... meet up right there to 
a nice point. <clears throat> so, now what I'm going to do is come inward. And then uh, I didn't quite touch there, but I'm going to now bring it down to a point. I'll try to fix this little meeting area because you want them to kind of look like it meant to met to meet. <clears throat> My apologies, I'm a little under the weather, so if I sound funny, I may have a cold possibly. All right, so I'm going to do another teardrop right here, flowing downward, following those lines. Trying not to stick my finger in the paint. And that's always a challenge. <clears throat> and this one will just have a nice wide meetup. Kind of cross them lines, but uh, you could either erase them or just have them go a little bit further down and fix them. So I'll have it go down a little bit further. Same thing here. And now, like it never happened. <clears throat> so I mean with these, like I said, they're free flowing. So you could sort of, you know, do whatever you want with them, but it's just a just an idea that you can play with. Um, I had I had no uh, pre uh, pre thought out design before I did this. I just kind of went for it, <clears throat> and uh, this is the outcome. Uh, so I hope you like it. Uh, Please share the videos. Please subscribe. Um, again, apologies for uh, my voice. And uh, this is a new camera, a new camera stand. Uh, hopefully it's a little better quality for you guys. I'm trying to put money back into the channel so uh, we can get better quality videos and uh, hopefully some more viewers. So uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.